Hey guys, John here. So my week with the Lexus IS350 F Sport has come to an end. So in this video, I wanna tell you some of the things that I really liked about it and some of the things that I didn't really like about it in my week of having this car. So guys, we have to start out with the good first and then get into the ugly. Starting out with the good, we got the looks, man. Holy smokes, this thing is a stunner. This color is called infrared and with the F Sport package giving you some black accents down below, the carbon fiber rear spoiler, the 19 inch BBS wheels, this car turns some heads. I never thought that I would have a Lexus turn heads on the road like that. When the UPS lady dropped some packages off at our house, she was like a couple times leaving the driveway just staring at the car. This Lexus, people love. Even in night two, this thing is a looker with the tri-beam LED lights, the accent light right here. And even when you come to the back too, the tail lights are full LED and at night, the whole bar lights up across the whole rear end of the car. So it's not just about looks, this 3.5 liter V6 cranks out 311 horsepower and it is mated to an eight speed transmission. Holy smokes, dude. The eight-speed transmission is very smooth as well. It's able to hold gears, shift gears, not clunky at all, unless you're in Sport Plus, but then you're asking the vehicle to be aggressive. This car drives super well. That is another thing that I enjoy about it. The suspension system with this F Sport package handles super well too. These Bridgestone tires didn't get squirrely at all on the road with it. It is a very well handling car. The only thing better than it, is that 5.0 liter V8 just because of the sound and the raw power. This V6 puts it down on this car and it's very, very fun to drive. Getting on into the interior, we have the moonroof up there. But one of the last things I like about it is just how simple this car is. I'm not exactly sure on how old this IS platform is, but everything that you needed inside the vehicle was all physical buttons. The seat bolstering, because this is the F Sport, it held my fat on my sides pretty well. Held my fat butt in the seat very well too, going around the turns. And when you're getting on inside, everything is just physical buttons with what you need. Old school, right? We got a CD changer. You have a physical gear lever right here, even though it's an automatic transmission, you have a physical gear lever. All your buttons and dials right here for Sport, Sport Plus. Everything is physical touch. The tuner zips through the radio very, very fast. This is an upgraded 10.3 inch screen. It is also touch screen. And then they have the pad down here, which isn't incredible, but it is a lot better than that whole big mouse dial that they had in the past. And once you get used to it with the sensitivity, you're really able to navigate it very easily. The gauge cluster in this car too was very awesome. Just the way that it starts up, the whole startup sequence. It's a full digital gauge, dynamic sport, it mechanically moves like that. How cool is that? You're able to mechanically move it with this button right here. So if you press it, moves back, moves that way. And you have all these settings with it. You can see that I've been getting about 24 miles per gallon. Your eco indicator, G-force, how much fun you're having with the vehicle. Gear position, that one's cool for the eight speed transmission. Very, very informative screen for the most part, but just super simple like Toyota and Lexus products. But I love that it was all digital and that it mechanically moved. It was a very cool feature to have. Also looking down here too, again, physical buttons, which I really, really liked. You have your dual climate control. You have heated and cooled seats. Again, physical buttons and a heated steering wheel, a bit outdated, but it's there and simple. And you're not stuck with this 10.3 inch screen, just going through all the settings just to turn your seat heaters on or your AC seats. I also like too that the physical dial right here, you're able to just rip through FM and XM stations. The Mark Levinson sound system sounded so good in this car. It was so fun to just go out on date nights with this car, drive it around. We made excuses to drive this car. It was so much fun. Just turn up the volume, crank it out, drive the car, feel it out. So, so good. So like, John, what the heck do you hate about it? Well, let's talk about a couple things. So when driving it, the first thing is the headlights. At nighttime, you guys can see right here, there's like a little dead spot. Now, granted, the lights are great. They're really good, but in the very, very middle of it, you can see kind of this dead spot. I'm not sure if I could mess with the lights in any way, but I tried all the buttons that I could. I couldn't figure it out, but there's like a little dead spot in the middle of the LED lights. One of the only things, aside from the outdated buttons, but whatever, on the inside that I did not like about this Lexus is there was no ambient lighting. So at night, 
it's nice to have some little lighting and stuff. I didn't see any buttons to turn it on or off. Uh, there are LED lights in this car, but then the door has halogen lights. So just not up to par with a lot of the other luxury vehicles on the market with LED lights, the ambient lighting, just to make it feel like a premium experience at nighttime when you're in this vehicle. The last thing on the inside, and it's not a huge deal, is just the camera quality. So if you put it in the drive and you want the camera to go, the camera quality is not incredible on this screen. You have a nice 360 panorama view, which is cool. And then if you put it into reverse, you do have the lines, they track, but it's just not the best camera quality. Big thing too with reversing, this car does not have rear cross traffic alert. The safety system in this car is Lexus 2.5 safety system. So you do have blind spot monitor, you have the radar cruise control, all those fun features, but you don't have the rear cross traffic alert. Now I know I come from a forerunner that's a dinosaur that it doesn't have it, but my Tundra and Tacoma do have it. This car in the South, when everyone around you has trucks, I'm trying to back out a parking spot. I can't see anything because it's a small car, but trying to back out you're like, oh, oh, no, nothing? Okay, all right, we're good. And obviously I'm going slow. I'm just not gonna haul ass out of a parking spot. But rear cross traffic alert, this car not having it for being almost $56,000 would be a really nice feature to have. And the last thing, guys, that I don't like, and right, this is a pretty short list because it's a very, very good car, is this chrome around the windows. Not sure why that's there. This car has a lot of nice black accents. It'd be cool if when you upgraded to the F Sport package because you get these black canards down here, the black wheels, the black spoiler, black lower valence on the rear end of the vehicle. It'd be cool if this whole chrome piece right here around these windows was blacked out. If you upgrade to the IS500, they are able to do this. That is all blacked out on the IS500, but for some reason on this one, it's not blacked out. A black chrome would look really good. It would set this car off because even from the sides, you can see that the rear tail lights are a little bit smoked out. Black lower valence here, even black chrome tips would be nice. And then you have the spoiler that is a nice carbon fiber too, but yep, that is the only thing on the outside that I dislike about this vehicle. Other than that, this thing is a stunner. This thing drives great. The sound system's good. It's a great date night car. Was making excuses to drive this car. One of my most favorite press vehicles that I've had ever, honestly. It was a very fun and great car. So guys, those are my final thoughts of the Lexus IS350 F Sport after my week of having it. Long story short, I wish I had the money for it or the V8. Very fun, great looking car, great driving car. Tiny bit outdated, but you would be very happy with this car if you were to purchase it. Guys, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. Returning subscribers, as always, appreciate your support, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.